Today we'll be taking a look at the new D-690, an awesome aircraft from Danny Airplanes built by Daniels Fall. The plane has a lot of cool features and we'll be giving you some instruction on a few of those today. So here's our pre-flight checklist. Number one, we're going to talk about control methods. Two, loading an autopilot waypoint note card. Three, setting up autopilot for your desired route. Four, setting up for takeoff, five, enabling autopilot, six, avoiding mid-air collisions, and seven, setting up autopilot for the return trip. Okay, there are three ways to control the aircraft. Number one, the pilot HUD. Number two, text chat commands. Number three, the instrument panel. Before we start the plane and prepare for takeoff, we need to set up our flight route in autopilot. For this part, we'll use the instrument panel. Instead of going into mouse view, I cammed into the plane. I really think it's easier than trying to do it in mouse. I'm going to fly from Angel's White Cliffs to Hollywood and then return, so I'll need two waypoint cards. I created these using the new Waypoint Terminal that came out with version 1.1. It's fairly simple and Danny has created a short video to show you how to do it. Click on the link at the top of this video and see Danny's tutorial. I recommend using Autopilot with one of the preloaded note cards before trying to create your own. If you'd like to try the routes I'm using in this video, shoot me an IM. Let's power up the electronics, load our waypoint note cards, and set our destination for leg one of our trip. Step one, while setting in the pilot seat, cam into the plane so that you're looking at the autopilot control panel. Step two, click the power button on the HUD and then the battery button. The avionics come to life. Step three, Open your inventory and locate the note cards you want to load. Step 4. Click on the Add New Note Card button at the top of the control panel. It will turn green. Drag the note card anywhere on the plane and release your mouse button. If you are loading more than one note card, you will have to click the Add button each time. Step 5. Click the Change Destination button on the control panel. The menu pops up. Step 6. Select the desired route. Boom. We're ready to rock and roll. As we taxi to the runway, let's take a look at the recommended settings for takeoff in normal mode. Without flaps, throttle setting needs to be 50 to 55%. With 10 degree flaps, throttle setting is 45 to 50 percent. Flaps set to full, which is the recommended setting, the throttle needs to be set from 40 to 45 percent. SL being what it is, I always set my flaps full and the throttle at least 50 percent. You cannot go into autopilot mode until you've left the runway. I always try to turn it on just as soon as my wheels leave the ground. There are two things the autopilot cannot do. It cannot take off or land. The pilot has full control in both cases. You should always set up your waypoints so you have enough time to turn on the autopilot after takeoff and to line up with the runway for landing after the autopilot releases control back to the pilot. Autopilot has control of the plane now. I can still control the flaps and the landing gear but I can't bank right or left or ascend or descend. So that begs the question what if the unexpected happens? What if another plane is flying towards me or maybe I've laid out my waypoints wrong and I'm going to crash into a building. So what do you do to avoid them? Well all you have to do if you see uh, danger ahead just release the autopilot by clicking on the 
autopilot icon on the HUD that gives you back control of the plane. You can bank right or left or ascend or descend or whatever you need to do. And then once you're clear of the obstacle, just turn the autopilot back on. Just because you're an autopilot doesn't mean you shouldn't watch where you're going. Okay, we're reaching the last couple waypoints here on the trip to Hollywood. You can see the autopilot uh, banking me back to the north here, and that frees me up to get the flaps uh, down and the landing gear down. And when you hear the magic beep, that means that I've reached the last waypoint, and the autopilot is turning control back to me so that I'm responsible for making a good landing. Okay, we're on the ground here at Hollywood, and my last item to cover in this tutorial is loading the next card uh, to go back to Angel. So I just came in to the cockpit again, and this time I clicked the button on the control panel to choose a destination, and that brings up my menu again, and all I have to do is select Hollywood to Angels and I'm all set to go. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to uh, send us any feedback, any questions that you might have and we'll be sure to help you out. So this is Luke Flywalker signing off saying happy flying and please be safe. <laughs>